What's up, everybody? Hey, it's Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's staying safe and not going uh, stir crazy. Well, before we get into the layout update, which I do have a lot of little things that I've done, uh, nothing major, but uh, definitely a little things to go over. I want to give a shout out to Anthony from the Georgia Sunbelt Railroad. He's got a phenomenal uh, layout coming along and he just completed one of his lift out sections, uh, which is his bridge. And he's just doing a lot of great things over there. So I'm going to post the link in the description and I'm going to have a couple of his videos towards the back end of this video. So make sure you go over and you check his channel out. He's got a lot of great things going on and he's a hell of a guy. So take the time out, go say hi and uh, check out his work. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we're going to start over here. So I've been talking about, you know, possibly doing a town and, you know, a waterfront and that sort of thing. Well, I finally decided I am going to do a waterfront scene. And it's going to be called Miriam Pass. And it's after uh, my wife's grandmother that passed away a couple years ago. She passed away before Mason was born. So I figured that would be a nice little way to honor her memory and uh, keep her a part of the layout as well for Mason. So this will be called Miriam Pass. So... Basically, what we're going to do here is on the front side, there will be a small river, which will go all the way down. And we'll get into that more here in a minute. Go all the way down and then kind of tuck in around over there where that clamp is. And I'm pointing way up there and it's actually way over there. So I'll touch that in a minute. But uh, And then back here is just going to be basically uh, a small hillside with a bunch of trees. I'll show you how that's going to go. Still plan on doing the cement plant back here which I think is just going to blend in well with the scene um, so we'll show you how you know as that gets going I'll show you how I plan on doing that so the cement plant will be there so that'll be it for down here other than just the water scene so I picked these two places same place just different angles and different times of year fall spring and this is out in Massachusetts I came across the, a couple photos on uh, Instagram and so I went and did some research and I found these and I was like wow okay that's what I want to do so actually we'll go over to this one because you can see it better I do plan on doing this dam and then doing the smooth water like it is here and then I'll do the little rapids with the rocks and stuff like that now I'm gonna do a mixture of both scenes and what I mean is with the rip wrap I'm gonna do the rip wrap and then I'm gonna do the vegetation too and then of course this is going to be behind the rail there and as you can see here it kind of goes up and believe it or not behind this here there's an actual small town i'm not going to worry about trying to model that i'm just going to do this what we have here so in places the vegetation will be very uh scarce and you'll be able to see the riprap but that's kind of how i plan on doing the front so if you will it can slope down just a little bit. This will be built up with foam. The slope down, you have your riprap here, and then you'll have your riverbed there. So that's going to look pretty interesting. So then right around in this area here is where the dam's going to be. And it's going to kind of lake over this way. And then it's going to go up underneath this section here. So eventually I will have a dual bridge there for the track, which is going to look really nice. And then, of course, I will have a road off to the side that runs into the trailer park area here. And I will keep the same uh, scene with the trees and the hilltops and stuff because there will be a mountain here, um, which uh, actually not right here. Well, it'll be back here and back here. So there will be a tunnel right past the bridge and that'll go back into that. So that'll all still remain closed. And I may... Depends on how everything works. I may end up putting the uh, lake this way. Not sure yet. I'd like to go under here, but if it doesn't work with the tunnel portals, then so be it. Not a big deal. So nothing's really changed here. I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this section, and I finally figured it out. This is going to be Harry's Waste Management and Recycling. And basically what I'm going to do is come off of this section of track here with a turnout come out here and then the waste management plant is going to be about right here that'd be a bump out of course probably about eight inches and then i will have three tracks here for staging and then one track that goes through 
the um, building that will be here, and that'll be a kind of a pass through the cars. The locomotives will bring the cars in. They'll get loaded by uh, wheel loaders, and then they'll pull on out and then tie back in. And this is kind of what I did, and this is another one here that was in I found in Massachusetts. And um, as you see, you got the branch line, and then you've got the four loading tracks or the four holding tracks here. And then this is the track where they push it down through and it goes in through this uh, bay door here and comes out the back and then it ties back in back here. And I found that on uh, Google Maps. Same building. Come the, It's hard to see the track that goes through the building, but it goes through right through here. Comes in or goes out and then comes in and ties back in here. And then this actually dead ends about three, maybe 400 feet up and uh so then they'll put their uh empties or they're loaded build their train and then pull it out so i figured that would be a nice little uh little recycling center here and that was something i never really considered doing never even thought about until i came across these pictures and i was like well let me do some research and i thought it would be just you know a neat little thing to do so that is going to be harry's uh waste management and recycling Nothing has changed over here, really, with the uh, mine. Slowly doing some work, but nothing major. So now the mine is going to be called Fowler's Mine, and that was named after my dad. And um, so that's going to be part of uh, him here with this. And uh, so Fowler Mine, so that's going to be pretty good. I'm excited about that. And then, as you can see, I'm building slowly building the yeah, staging yard for the coal cars and basically the turnout to come here and I had these old sheets of cork left over so I decided to use them for the turnouts or for the switches and uh, it'll tie in it'll be a three track staging yard and then a runaround track and then it will also have a um, small line it'll be a switch here that goes past here, and then there will be a um, small engine facility with a couple uh, switchers there for the coal mine uh, staging yard. So that should be pretty good. And I wanted it to where I could have a a pull through on either side, so I wouldn't wouldn't uh, tie up the main line. And I finally got it the way I want. It's not a great big yard, but it'll hold probably 50, 60 uh, coal cars. So I'm happy with that. Maybe even a little bit more. But we'll find out. So that's pretty much uh, it for the layout update. Uh, really not much has changed over here. I have started the wiring, and I'll touch on that here in a minute. And I've started putting in more track here going into the main yard because i got to get the main line tied up so I can get the reversing section right. And uh, so that's probably the next big project. And I've been just kind of test fitting some things here, just double checking my lift out section and all that. And then one of my newest projects is my SD60 Conrail unit. And I still have a few things to put back on it, basically all the handrails and grab irons and all of that. It's not done, but it's getting there. And this is probably one of the better locomotives I have. It is Atherin Genis. And uh, one thing, it is missing the fuel tank cover. So if anybody has a spare fuel tank cover laying around and you really don't need it, let me know. I even buy it off of you. If not, then you know I'll, I'll go online and look for it. But if somebody has one laying around, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So that's that baby there. And course all of this is just temporary i'm still in the process like i said of wiring but as you can see i've got my main bus line ran and what i did was just use these little um eye hooks all the way through and i did that so i could get to everything easier rather than putting it up holes in the one by fours and that's like that all the way around and it goes all the way on the lower level right now and i plan on doing this with all three of my bus lines I'll have a, a, a secondary bus line for all of my tortoise switches and then a, th a third bus line for all of my accessories, so my lights and all of that on the layout. So I like this. This has worked out really well, and it just took a little time. Now, this is 12-gauge, 
and it is stranded. Now for my feeder wires, I will use the solid, but the stranded I decided to go with because it's a lot easier uh, to manipulate, to go through the eye hooks and everything like that. So that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys and gals watching and uh, hope everybody's doing well. We'll chat soon. Thanks for watching, guys, gals.